everybody. It's time for a Sunday road trip. It's Mother's Day, and I saw this place called Oak Springs Trilobite Area, about two and a half hours north of Las Vegas, uh, just outside of Caliente in Lincoln County. So we're going to head out to this area. I've never done a, a, a rock hounding dig for trilobites, but I figured, what the heck, let's, let's check it out, see what we can find. Um, again, there's other fossils, petrified wood, um, so this is going to be fun. Brought lots of, of snacks and water, and we're going to fuel up, head on out, join us. Let's see what we can find at Oak Springs Trilobite Area in Southern Nevada. We're going to make the Illy 93 North turnoff, heading out towards Caliente. Definitely changing. Lots of more green and trees. Awesome. All right, we are in. Awesome. Let's get in and see what it looks like. All right, the terrain isn't too bad. I think even a even a Hyundai would make it out here. We have a little restroom, some picnic benches. Cool. Let's see, find a place to park. Let's see what we can find. Cool. Twenty million years since the Eleola day swarmed in a shallow sea, the landscape has changed remarkably at Oak Spring Summit. Geologists read the story, taking us from back in time to the present. Way cool. It shows you the different layers and where you can find what layers, what you can expect to find. Awesome. And then we have the area where we are here. We're about to, I think, drive down this road here and park somewhere in here. Start exploring. Sweet. Let's move on. All right, guys, so you saw the sign, nothing there showing like a four wheel drive recommended, but I'm gonna tell you four wheel drive recommended. I have a little Toyota RAV uh, two wheel drive and check this out. So the road coming in away from that signage, little rough, and then you start to hit this real sandy, soft stuff. You guys that go off roading uh, like I do, you know that this will eat you up and you'll be stuck. So right around there, I decided to not go forward. I turned off here 
and while I was making my U-turn just to turn the vehicle around it got stuck but we got her out pretty easily turned her around and we're just gonna hike it now finish uh, working our way into the location where it shows the dig site is and we'll just come back and drive on out but yeah if you're gonna come out to this area um, two-wheel drive a car will get you to the first area where you can park by the picnic benches and just hike your way in the rest of the way and I'll let you know uh, once we make it there about how far of a hike it is so let's go all right we made a little turn where the that little trailhead map shows where to make the turn to get to the dig site and you know you're getting close when you start to see the shale and from everything I've read is you're really gonna start finding the trilobites when you're in the dark gray or green shale so that's what we're gonna be looking for on our way up all right let's keep going well, check out the beautiful desert Starting to see a lot of shale now. Check this out. Wow, it looks like we are we are pretty close now. Look at all the shale everywhere. Way cool. Check this out too. There's even a little trail that's marked. Rocks on the side. Way cool. So let's see where she goes, but check out all the shale. All right, let's find a good spot. Let's see if we can find some trilobite and other fossil treasures of our own. On a rock hound treasure hunt, again, we are out in Rock Springs trilobite area, um, just out of Caliente in Southern Nevada. Excuse me, this is more, two hours uh, northwest from Las Vegas, so more, um, up in the northern Nevada area. So cool. Awesome. Let's see what we can find. Get started. You can see all the other holes. Looks like other people have been digging. So do you dig where somebody else has been digging? I think that where there's a big hole Somebody had to have found something to have gotten him to keep digging such a big hole. Or it's several people that think that exact same thing and they just, different people kept adding to the size of the hole but never found anything. But I mean, in an area like this with all this shale, I'm just gonna find my own spot. Try out my own luck in my own hole. Awesome. You see all kinds of beauty like this. All the desert flowers. And you really got to watch out for these desert cactus plants. But check out that flower on that plant. So cool. Awesome. All right. Let's find a good spot and get started. All right. I think I'm going to make this my spot. Good sized pieces of shale. I'm sure a lot of this is overburdened from parts like that spot there. In this area. And then look at this area that's all dug out right underneath me. Someone was really digging. So let's go on, let's get started. Right. Start over here. You don't need too many tools for looking for trilobites in shale. Basically a good rock pick, you know, a screwdriver to help you split some of the bigger pieces that are being stubborn. And that's about it. I use a glove because a lot of these pieces could get really sharp edges. You don't want to cut your hands up too much if you could help it. So let's go ahead. Start looking, see what we can find. And you just kind of dig in at an angle. 
bring up, like a lot of these pieces look like they've already been split. So we want to find some bigger pieces that haven't been split yet. Kind of break them apart. See what you can find. The smaller pieces like that. The bigger pieces you're going to have to take a screwdriver to. open and you just look inside to see what kind of goodies you might have. What that might have been a, a leaf or something? I don't think so. But we're gonna keep going, looking. Right, so I moved locations to a spot where it looks like somebody else had started a good size dig. And this is really where I wanted to be was in an area where I was coming in on the side uh, of a shelf. So all this right here digging down is gonna be the shale layers. And you can see someone had piled up some shale chunks. So I just started going through these. A lot of these are thick enough to go ahead and split open check out what I found so far it's kind of cool so this piece right here I hammered on on the side popped it open and you could see these indentions you're just looking for anything that's inconsistent other than a smooth layer but you see those little indentions so then I look at the other end of it and I believe we have some trilobites right there. Just a little guys. Except there's, there's a few of them. Look at that one. You can see the shape of the body a little bit. See it? Right there. Pretty cool. So, just little guys. And a little body right there. Little Little guy body. Pretty cool. So let's continue. And I got this other piece that I split. And on this side here, it looks like we have a little body, uh, some kind of a fossil. Just not a smooth area. It's rounded up right there. So there's something there. Got to get it cleaned up a little bit. But let's continue. Let's continue hammering away. Let's try to find some really, really cool. I want something that's like a half inch to an inch big. I want a, I want a full trilobite exposed and released from the sandstone. Something I could use my Dremel to, to, tool, excuse me, my Dremel tool to chisel out or grind out the rest of the way. So this is awesome. Let's continue digging, see what we can find. All right, everybody, we'll show you the stuff that we found today later on once I get home. So it turns out when you're old, you shouldn't sit in one spot for hours just digging away. I stood up, I was getting ready to show you guys uh, the, the things that I found. Uh, several cool little trilobite specimens. But just as I was bending over to grab something out of my bag, my lower back kind of pop in it and I just buckled to the ground like a baby while my wife stood there laughing. Not just kidding, she wasn't laughing, she's concerned, but now I'm just kind of babying my way back to the vehicle. And I got a two and a half hour drive home. But I did take some Aleve back pain medicine, so man, getting old sucks. So we'll see you back at home. All right, it's been about a week. My back has healed up a lot. Still have some aches and pains if I sit too long. But other than that, we're doing good. I got my specimens cleaned up. Now let's check out my trilobite specimens from the Oak Springs trilobite area. 
And out of the six different species, let's see if you can help me figure out what species I have collected here. See these fossil imprints here? Pretty cool. Looks like just the heads. All right, can you tell what species these are? All right, how about this guy here? This has got a, a good size head on him, but you can see the body. Kind of hard to tell, almost like there's not quite enough detail to, but, but possibly by the head shape. Let's see if we can figure out what species this one is. All right, we have another one. This is a cool one. This one has a little bit more detail on the body, or excuse me, the head area. Of this trilobite. Let's see if you can tell what species this is. Very cool piece. All right. Can you tell what species this is? Next on our list. Look at the different colors, too, of the shale. The, uh, that board, the billboard, was talking about finding them in, in a dark gray or a gray shale. But I have found that I was finding most of my trilobite fossils in this greenish gray check out this one here can you tell what species this one is very cool check it out what species do you think this one is please let me know in the comments below let's let's figure out how many different species i found out of the six that they have on site Oh, I got I got a, the the next three I have are the my my favorites. But check this one out. Look at the size of her palm. My hand. Very cool. Look at versus the little guys. Look at the size difference. I wonder, like in prehistoric times, what is the age difference between this little guy? And this guy. Ooh, look, look, look. Look at the pattern on it. Look at the pattern on it. It looks like these are the two two of the same species. So what is the age difference? Is this two years old, you know, two years different? Or is there a 50 or 100 year difference between the two? Things like that. I'd love to know. Really interest me. But check it out. What species is this? Look at the chart on these and compare. Come on, focus. Sweet. There you go. Check her out. And there's the, the head. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Let's check out. My next two pieces are my favorite. My favorites for sure. All right, all right, check this out. This piece here, I went to hit it with the hammer to split it and it broke off right here, a little piece. Then I hit it again and split it and it just split it open just like that. And check out what we have. Just awesome. You guys, I've never gone trilobite uh, fossil digging before areas that I've gone to um, rock hunting I've come across shale and just out of um, you know shits and giggles I've gone and split some shale 
but just been a few minutes and never found anything right out the gate so I've always moved on to what I was looking for um, but if I have to rate this location the Oak Springs trilobite area um, let's say as a family friendly rock counting location I would uh, scale a 1 to 10 I give it a 7 um, it has public restrooms they're clean they're kept there's only two picnic benches and being out in the desert um, with the sunlight on you in the spring and the summertime I would expect that they would have had some maybe awnings uh, for some shade cover maybe some barbecue pits um uh something like that there's no campsite areas but you can pull in and camp i think it said like 14 days is the maximum you can stay there um within a 28 day period um but still a really cool location um blm public land so you can keep what you find very very cool pieces what do you guys think the species of this one is which trilobite species of the six very cool that they just lock together too I love it just awesome all right let's check out my favorite my favorite of the two pieces or excuse me of the group but it is a two-piece. Uh, again, it's just like this. It's a split piece. So check this out. Very cool. All right. Now for my favorite find of the day out there. Very cool piece. Again, a greenish-gray piece of shale. Um, most of my better specimens, most of my bigger specimens were the greenish-gray. Uh, just like I've been told out of the uh, versus the dark brown so I split this piece and check out what I found here very very cool big specimen by looking at that chart what species would you say she is very very cool and check it out look at the baby the baby trilobite fossil so cool and look even the imprint the baby trilobite imprint oh that's amazing very very cool i think there's a uh, another baby down here maybe looks like anywhere else on there but very cool guys i mean we spent about four hours out there um and i found some very very cool trilobite specimens um let's let's see if we can figure out how many different species of the six that you can find out there that i have um very cool check these guys out i mean it was a great time i love it when you go rock hounding and you you leave with some very cool samples of what you were going out there for and even if i was to come home empty-handed it was well worth the trip the outdoors, the experience, uh, new sights, just love it. I mean, that's mainly why I do what I do. Get out in the great outdoors. Very cool specimens out there, guys. I highly recommend this location. Again, I live in Las Vegas. It's about two and a half hours northwest um, of Las Vegas. So you're going towards Ely, a little bit outside of Caliente very very cool location um give it a shot if you guys haven't subscribed please subscribe like my videos comment leave in the comments what um species you think each of these are um and let's see if we can figure out how many i have thank you for watching have a great rest of your week rock on